Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Papa, we thank you so much for the gift of another beautiful day. And we thank you for all that you do for your children. Thank you, O oh God, for giving us strength, the gift of life. We are so thankful. We appreciate the life that you've given unto us. Therefore, we pray, committing ourselves into your hands. Papa, lead us throughout the day and lead us throughout, O oh God, our life here on this earth. We pray the precious Holy Spirit, you teach us your word so that we will understand you better. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, once again, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading today from Psalm 65, 1 to 4. Psalm 65, 1 to 4. It is a psalm of David. What mighty praise, O God, belongs to you in Zion. We will fulfill our vows to you. For your answer, for you answer our prayers. All of us must come to you. Though we are overwhelmed by our sins, you forgive them all. What joy for those you choose to bring near. Those who live in your holy courts. And what festivities await us inside your holy temple. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I really like David, our, our grandfather David. He really loved the Lord. David loved the Lord so much that nothing did he say without mentioning the name of the Lord. Every step he took, every plan that he, he had, he always asked the Lord. Even when his enemies came to capture his wives and children, he asked of the Lord. At times, things happen that most of us will not even think about asking the Lord. But he asked the Lord, should I go after them? There are occasions that when he asked, the Lord would tell him, yes, go. At times, the Lord would tell him, no, relent, do not go now. Brethren, one thing I see is that when we pray, when we always pray the will of God to be done in our lives, it ends well. But when we do things our own way, we always hit our head against the wall. And most of the time, things become too late. Today, David is teaching us how to praise the Lord. He is telling us that he is giving a mighty praise unto the Lord. A mighty praise. He says that to the Lord who belongs to Zion. Hallelujah. Zion belongs to God. That is, God rules and reigns in heaven and on earth. And he also he's also drawing attention to it that we have to fulfill our vows. Our vows to the Lord. God is not interested in people who vow and never fulfill their vows. Because he is a God who answers our prayers. When we come to him, even when we have been, we've been overwhelmed by sin, God does not send us away. He, because he knows the solution is from him. He alone can purge us of our sins. So he welcomes us and forgives us. Oh, hallelujah. Let us have this joy that David had. Joy is something that Jesus gives to his people. Love, joy, hope, peace. All these he, ha he has made them ours. Therefore, let us enjoy the peace, the love, the joy that God has planted in us. Because he alone forgives sins and he alone gives joy. Joy that no one can take from us. And so, let us be happy just as he said. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us always have the urge, the zeal to go into the house of the Lord. Because God always surprises us. He always has packages for us. Oh, hallelujah. What joy for those who choose to bring who, who choose to bring near those who live in your holy 
courts. And so we have joy when we come near, we choose to come near the holy courts of God. Hallelujah. When our festivities await us, because in the house of the Lord, there is total liberty. God bless you and have a fruitful day. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.